so we're at uh, a rock climbing place, taking Christian here. But I thought it would be really cool if they took this place and turned it into like a bowling alley night. So like they could make all the handholds out there, psychedelic colors and put black lights on it and disco balls and everybody could climb at night. That's a good marketing scheme. Set out. So if you start where these tags are shown and you follow the same color holds for your hands and feet up to the top, put both hands on that, it's called a match of climbing, that's leading one of our rounds. You can adjust the difficulty by... But do you rock climb yourself? Yeah. I've wow. rock climbed for 12 years. Wow, I really. Yep. Do, do sometimes people climb without any ropes? They just go out there and climb. Outside? Yeah. Outdoors. Yeah, they do the similar thing. Like in here, this gym's all bouldering, and so this is climbing without ropes. And the same idea exists outside. You climb smaller rocks that are 6 to 20 feet tall, depending. And then they don't have the giant mat like we have in yeah. here. They take these things outside. They're called crash pads. And you oh, wow. Have, you put them underneath there where you think you'll fall? Yeah. Wow. And if you're just like one person out there by yourself with one crash pad, you're, your risk is higher. Yeah. So, Or your risk-taking ability is is low, yeah. as I would say that way. Yeah. If you go out with a bunch of people and you've got a bunch of pads, you can pad up the area really well. Wow. And then you can take bigger risks. So what do your hands look like? Are they all calloused or rough? They They're look rough. Uh, they, they look, look particularly hard. bad right now because I was eating an orange earlier. Oh, yeah, so same that skin's probably. a little yellow. But, um, yeah, um, people's hands get a little bit roughened up. In general, it's not... You're not aiming to have calluses so much as just stronger, thicker skin. I so see. proper proper skin care yeah. will prevent you from just having like giant calluses. Because if you go climbing and you've just got bad calluses, they can rip off. Ooh, wow. Flapper, yeah. And then you've just got a big empty hole in your hand. And what is your first name? My name's Chris. Chris, yeah. yeah. Do you run the place? Work here? Yeah, I'm one of the co-owners. Oh, are you really? Well, congratulations Thank for you. a great venture. Wow. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, it's good. Really nice to see new faces. Yeah. So, do you want to say what the name of your place is? They see it on YouTube. They'll think, I'll go there and climb. That's Urbana Boulders in Urbana, Illinois. All right. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. Yeah. So, let me share some things with you that has helped me. First, I had to decide in my mind, where do I want to go? You want to go here, and you might be down here, but you want to get here. You have to decide where is it that I want to go. The second thing. So one of the funnest things that I have found is that if I talk to people and I say, I want to, pers I want to pursue this dream, I want to go here, and you're somebody that can help me get there, or you're there, or you're going there and you're ahead of me and figuring things out, I can go to these people and say, hey, I want to learn from you. And sometimes I've just said, hey, can I hang out with you? Can I spend some time? Can I take you out for lunch? But I want to go to people that are kind of like able to help me understand things more clearly to get where I need to go. It's all about networking. So in other words, what kind of energy is it going to take for me to spend time getting here. What do I need to do? Do I need to take some college courses? Do I need to just research things? Uh, what, what, what do I need to do? This is the easy part, but the hardest is start. Sorry that I got kind of all messed up with the graph there, but you got to start. Starting is the hardest thing to do. Because we keep talking ourselves out of starting. I'll do it tomorrow. I do it next year. I don't feel good enough to start today. you got to start. And if you look at their hands, their hands are very rough and, and calloused. Uh, strong hands for gripping and, and holding rough rocks. And all rock climbers have to start 
And as they go, they have to make changes. I don't know. I just thought it was fun today, hanging out and learning and watching people climb rocks. I, I thought it was fun today. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, that's kind of cool. And there's an analogy about life in that. Well, rock climbing did look like a challenge. And I'm not going to say I won't ever do it, but I'm not pursuing it right now. Maybe I will one day. But if you're a boulder climber, I am amazed at your ability to do this. I say bravo for you. You probably got the thumb power to do it. How do you do that? How do you climb a wall with your fingertips? It's amazing. Maybe one day I'll be a rock climber. I don't know. I'm watching them and already my shoulders are hurting. Look at Christian right there. <laughs> Go on up there, buddy. <laughs>